New in town, huh? Well, if McCready let you in, that's a good sign. I'm Knock Knock, and I take care of keeping the peace down here. Or at least the morale. So who are you? You going to cause any trouble? Always good to hear, but not even any fun trouble? Even a little? See, I collect a lot of stories, and sometimes trade them to keep the others amused. A bit of fun trouble is always good for morale. More owls better than less owls, see? Well, technically, I'm patrolling and keeping the peace. Mostly, that involves making sure people are happy and not getting into trouble. You can't very well keep the peace if you've already lost it, see? So, bam! Jokes! Want to hear one? Prepare to be amused. Knock, knock. Noah. Know a place where I can get some food? Whoa! You really think so? Like, actually funny? Can you convince other folks to find them funny? Actually, most of our jokes are from an old book we found in the vault called Vault Boy's Big Book of Laughs for Kids. They're not really funny, but something about hearing them is a little comforting, you know? Oh, we've got lots of funny incidents. Like when Sammy shot the raider who thought he was a girl. That sort of stuff. But we don't really get a lot of news stories from outside. The scav teams spend all their time hidden, so they don't get much news, see? I'd sure like to hear more tales from the great big outdoors myself. Actually, if you hear any, feel free to tell me. Oh, really? Tell me about it. So you're like a three-legged dog then? Looking for your lost paw? <laughs> anyway, what happened next? Wow, that's some crazy bad timing. I mean, that is to say, I'm really sorry to hear about your loss. So what happens next? Inheriting the family business, huh? Congrats! I sure hope it works out. You let me know, right? I sure hope so. Good luck! Well, when people started calling Nikki by his new name, I needed one too, see? If you're twins, it just doesn't cut it to be called Nick Knack and Sue. Okay, bye bye. Whoa! You're big! You must be the biggest kid here! I'm the littlest kid. My real name's Betty, but mostly I get called Bumble. What do you call big kid? It's nice to meet you, too. Did you come from the vault? I heard there's monsters down there. Eclair told me once, one of them, they got him and bit him right in the face, and that's why he's only got one eye. But you don't look like a monster, and I don't think you'd bite anyone in the face. You look like a nice vault dweller. It's just a name, okay? Not my fault I knocked stuff over. Lucy says, I still got a lot of growing to do. Bye bye vault dweller. You're new, and you're too big to be a resident. Who are you? Well, it's good that you're safe in here now. The waste can be dangerous, although you look like you've done all right out there. I'm Lucy, and I'm the closest thing we've got to a doctor around here. If you get yourself into trouble, see if you can drag yourself back here. There's always one big sister or another who knows her way around a compress and a sewing needle, so we take care of most of the little scrapes. And way back when, someone figured out that some of the plants and fungus around here absorb radiation. The little ones don't like to eat their veggies, but they don't like to be sick either. 
so we get by. It is, especially for dealing with the low-level radiation we all get from the water. The fungus just soaks it right up. But it doesn't help the rickets that keep hitting the younger lamp lighters. Believe it or not, I can make a treatment for that from extract of buff out. Actually, if you can talk McCready into it, I'd be glad to trade some fungus for buff out, but he'd have to say it was okay. Well, until you come asking for a bandage at least. Thanks. Hopefully, it'll just be skin, knees, and bloody noses today. New in town, huh? If McCready let you in, that's good enough for me. Well, enough with formalities. Who are you? And how'd you get McCready to let you in here? In that case, I'm Nick Knack, and I take care of the general store around here. Which is to say, I collect a lot of stuff, and sometimes trade it for other stuff. That's pretty much a store, see? Well, my name was Nick, and I collect knickknacks. Not everything has to be real complex, see? Okay, bye-bye. What? Great. RJ let in another pair of choppers to eat up all our food. Well, as long as you don't give me any crap about how I prepare your grub, I guess you'll be okay. So tell me, what do you think of cave fungus and watery mushroom sauce? Okay, either you're a dirty liar or you're some sort of freak. Either way, you should fit in just fine around here. Folks call me a Claire, and I'm in charge of keeping this place fed. You need a meal? You come ask me. There's not much to go around, and it all tastes bad. It'll keep you alive, and that's good enough. Honestly, when we can't scavenge some from outside, we mostly scrape it off the walls and skim it off the water. No, really. Most of our food comes from fungus that grows in these caves. It's not so bad when you get used to it, and we don't have much choice. At least it's filling, so we don't have to eat much of it. But man, oh man, it tastes terrible! It's pretty hard to find, and I hear it doesn't grow in other caves. I don't know why it's here, but without it, we'd be goners. Think fungus just grows on trees? No, it grows in caves! Ugh! Knock Knock came up with that one once, and now it's stuck in my head forever! Doesn't take any work to get it to grow down here. All I have to do is collect and prepare it. Mostly, I try to get the stink off it. They say the fungus grows in the pools where the first lamplighters dumped the mungos. That's about the most they ever helped us. I don't know how true that is. But I know, sometimes, the scav team comes back with this strange meat that tastes terrible, but the fungus loves it. I don't know where they find that meat, but if you could bring some back, I'd be glad to trade fungus for it. Of course, McCready'd have to okay it. Sure. Well, I didn't get the nickname for being fat and full of cream, if that's what you're asking. Back when I was on the scav team, I found some pages from an old cookbook. Sometimes I try them out. Just for the record, don't try making an eclair out of cave fungus. The taste sticks with you, and not in a good way. About time, man. This mold isn't getting any tastier. If anyone told you yet, but let me set the record straight. I'm Princess. When you're around me, I'm in charge. You shut up and do what I say, because I'm boss around here. That clear? Now who are you?
Good. Glad we got that settled. Stay out of my way and there won't be any problems. It's so dull. Practically nothing ever tries to come through the back gate anymore, so I never get to shoot anyone. I wish I was at the front gate, but RJ specifically put me back here. Up front, at least there's a chance I can shoot some unwanted visitors. Which could have included you, Mungo. <laughs> could have been a lot of reasons. Maybe you sounded like a monster in all that darkness. Maybe you had a weapon drawn and looked like a raider. Maybe I just decided I didn't like your stupid Mungo face. I don't need to explain myself to you, Mungo. Shut up and get lost. In fact, don't you ever bother me about something as stupid as nicknames again. Well, thank goodness you gave me permission, jerk. Wow, you're big. I mean, bigger than most people down here. I mean, bigger than most people down here that we don't shoot for being down here. So how'd you get down here without getting shot? Am I supposed to shoot you? Because you know, I'd rather not. But if I'm supposed to, then okay. That's good. They don't like me having my gun in town, so I gotta turn it in first. So if I had to shoot you, you'd have to wait a bit. My name's Zip. I don't think that's short for anything. Because I don't know what it'd be short for. Zippy? Zipperick? Zipthoomu? So yeah. It's good to meet you, big kid. Maybe you've got big stuff on top of you. Do you have any Nuka-Cola, maybe? Yes? Please? Why Zip? Or why do I have a nickname at all? I mean, why don't people just call me Ricky, or Yancey, or Eustace P. Vanderbagger III? I mean, they say it's because I'm so fast. But that doesn't make sense because I don't think I'm all that fast. It's just that they're all slow. I guess it's just one of those mysteries that will never really get answered. Sort of like how people made bubbles in Nuka-Cola. Say, got any cola? Yeah, I got lots of trade, but you got no nuka? You're not getting nothing. No way. Okay, see you next time, mister. Hello. Hello, I'm Billy. Welcome to Widow Wampwite. Hey, you look like you're handy with the weapon. I got kicked off the scab team, so I guess I don't need mine anymore. Wanna buy my Wazer rifle? 500 caps and it's all yours. That's a great idea. You take it and good work out there. Hello, mister. Nickname? What are you talking about? Bye bye! Watch it! Hey there! You have any Nuka Cola? Even just a bit? Can I have some? Be your best friend. Honest, totally, not even kidding. Yeah, more Nuka's always good. It's definitely always gooder than less. Because no Nuka's no good at all. Got any Nuka for me? I'll trade you whatever I got for more Nuka Cola. Anytime! Nuka for zip! Nuka for zip! Well, I found a lucky bullet this morning. It's just a measly old 10 mil. But I know for sure it's lucky because it was sitting there all alone out of its clip and not fired off. Want it? Hooray! I win the Nuka Cola game. What's the prize? Nuka Cola? That's all I got right now. Come back tomorrow, maybe we'll have more. And you can have more Nuka for me to have more Nuka. Yeah? Okay. Okay, so you get in, but I got my eye on you. You don't make any trouble in here, got it? I ain't having no shit butts making trouble. Good. Better stay that way, Mungo. Organized? Have you walked around this place? It's pure anarchy, and I wouldn't have it any other fucking way. We can't all stay here forever, so we've all got to leave eventually. And there's not much to look forward to out there. So we have a good time while we're here, and the occasional ruthless little bastard like me... Make sure it doesn't fall apart for the other kids. 
It's not that complex. Any kid can say they want to be mayor here. It's just that most don't want to bother with the responsibility of leading. Most of the time, they last until the kids get tired of them. Then they get kicked out on their ass by the new mayor. One only lasted five minutes. Of course, I've kept this place going strong for three years. To most kids, that makes me mayor for fucking life. Fine by me, I say. People change when they grow up, and we don't trust mungos living down here. So we leave for a place called Big Town before we get too old. Kids who grow up fighting and surviving in lamplight are better trained for the world out there than idiots who are pampered by grown-ups outside. About time. Yeah, I'll bet you've heard all about the fungus in my cavern. But yeah, the cave fungus, sure. It's good for food and medicine, and it's the main fucking reason we've stayed alive down here. So, you want a slice of that gray-green gold, huh? I think maybe we could come to an arrangement. What are you offering? Well, it would lighten the load for our scab team a lot. Since you're pretty much one of us, here's the deal. For every piece of strange meat or buff out you bring in, you'll be repaid with one cube of fungus. You couldn't ask for a better deal. Talk with Eclair for the strange meat. Or to Lucy about the buff out. They've got uses for them. I'm McCready. I run Little Lamplight because they made me the mayor. And I don't like strangers or mungos. That's right. And don't come back.